Hello, Kido. Sir E is here. And today we're going to talk about mixtures. <laughs> Let's have a short review before we continue discussing the details about mixtures. In my previous video, I discussed that matter can be classified into two. The first one is the so-called pure substance. Again, we define pure substance as these are forms of matter that have definite and unchanging chemical composition. And pure substances can be further divided into elements and compounds. Another classification of matter is our main topic for today, and that is mixture. As we go through with this lesson, we will learn that mixture can be further be divided into homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures. But first, let us define what is mixture. Mixture is made up of two or more substances that are physically combined. Sir, ano pong ibig sabihin ng physically combined? Ibig sabihin, hindi ito nag-undergo ng kahit anong chemical reaction. Talagang pinaghalo lang sila physically. If a mixture is physically combined, therefore, it can also be separated through physical means. What are the examples of separation techniques applied in mixtures? We got magnetic attraction, filtration, distillation, evaporation, chromatography, decantation, or even simple picking and scooping. As long as it doesn't involve any chemical reactions. A lot more of this will be discussed in my next video about separation technique. Let's now discuss about the types of mixtures. The first type of mixture is called homogeneous mixture. Hmm, what do we mean by homogeneous mixture? This type of mixture has one phase. Ano ibig sabihin ng one phase? Ibig sabihin, hindi natin nakikita ang components ito. Kung naaalala ninyo, we said earlier that a mixture is composed of two or more substances. But for the case of homogeneous mixture, we cannot see or distinguish its components, but we only see a single phase. Also, its components are uniformly distributed. So it means that if it is the container, then all the particles are evenly distributed in all parts. The best example of homogeneous mixture is this one. When you add salt, in the water. You know that when we mix them together, later on, the salt will be dissolved. Pag na-dissolve na yung salt sa tubig, kaya pa ba natin ma-distinguish kung nasa ang region or area ang salt? Definitely not. Because we only see a single phase. And the salt in there are distributed evenly in all parts. That's why we cannot see even few or small particles of it. And as we combine salt and water, we form the so-called solution. And solution is the most common example of a homogeneous mixture. Let's discuss about the components of a solution. We said a while ago that we got a salt and we got the water. And so we have 
two basic components of a solution. The first one is the so-called solute. We describe solute as the one being dissolved. The second component of a solution is called solvent. It is the one dissolving the solute. And we describe it as well as the dissolving agent. So from this example, which is our solute and which is our solvent? Hmm. What component do you think is the salt? You got it right. This is our solute because it is the one being dissolved. So therefore, the water is, yeah, that's right. It is our solvent because it is the dissolving agent in this example. Let's have a few more examples of solutions. In my previous video, I said that vinegar is an example of a mixture. And to be specific, it is a homogeneous mixture because it is a combination of acetic acid and water. If it is only acetic acid, it is considered as compound. But since it is mixed with water, therefore it becomes a mixture. Another examples are the our favorite drinks, beverages, and juices. As long as there are no solid particles in it, and it is just one phase, therefore, we can consider it as a solution. Next, siempre. The most common example is the seawater. Typically, Solution is associated to liquid. But do you know that we can also have a solid solution? Best example of it is the brass. Brass is composed of or made up of two metals. And these are the copper and zinc. We cannot determine anymore which is the zinc and which is the copper. So they only have a single phase. Therefore, this can be considered as a solution. The next type of mixture is what we call heterogeneous mixture. And this type of mixture is made up of two or more phases or of different parts. Also, its different components are visibly distinguishable from one another. Kung ikukumpara natin ito sa homogeneous mixture, alam naman natin or natutunan natin na hindi natin kaya makita or madistinguish kung alin yung mga components na meron sa homogeneous mixture. Best example of which is the solution. Dahil nga, meron lang itong single phase. Pero in heterogeneous mixture, kaya nating makita kung ilan yung components niya at kung ano-ano ang meron sa kanya. What are the examples of heterogeneous mixtures? We got this. So the first picture is a mixture of nuts. So we can determine what type of nut is it. Like the almond or it is hazelnut. The second picture, pizza. Ooh, nakagutom. So we can determine which is the tomato, which is the bell pepper, which is the cheese, which is the toppings like bacon, etc. And drinks like this one. And drinks like this one. So we can determine which is the liquid part to the ice. And also for those liquids or drinks that are having pulp or it is pulpy. So may kita pa natin yung mga pieces ng like orange, mango, and so on. So it can be considered as heterogeneous as long as 
there are two or more distinguishable parts and also a mixture of different colors of candies. Another examples are mixtures of coins, mixtures of stones, shells. Maybe this can be found or observed in the seashore. And of course, the common example is our garbage. So alam natin kung paano natin madidistinguish ito katulad na biodegradable or non-biodegradable. And more specifically like metal, paper, composite, etc. So kaya natin madistinguish kung ano yung mga components ng isang basura. Kaya kaya natin silang mapaghiwa-hiwalay or we can do segregation. The most common example of a mixture is called suspension. From the name itself, merong particles na nakasuspend or nakastuck sa ilalim. Commonly, ito yung mga denser component. Tulad na lang ng example na to. So, nung una, magkahalo sila. Na hindi natin nakikita yung kanilang component. But later on, the heavy components of this mixture sunk. And so, we can see that it is stuck at the bottom. And it is described as suspension. We commonly hear suspension in... Tama. Sa mga gamot na iniinom natin. Specifically, yung mga syrup. Pag may nakalagay sa label na suspension, ibig sabihin, you have to shake it well. Before you drink it or take it. Bakit? Kasi ibig sabihin, yung components neto ay nakasuspend. So ibig sabihin, yung mga active ingredients or yung mga nakakapagpagaling na components neto ay maaaring nakastay sa ilalim. Kaya naman, we need to shake it so that it will be distributed thoroughly. And so, we can get equal portion of this. Kaya dapat tandaan na kapag may suspension na nakalagay sa label, you shake it very well. Sige nga, tingnan natin kung kaya nyo ma-determine kung ang isang mixture ay homogenous or heterogenous. Let's have this drill. Number one, coffee. Is it homogenous or heterogenous? Tama. It is Homogeneous. Number two, halo-halo. Mmm, yummy. The answer is, you got it right, heterogeneous. Third is the air. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? The answer is, tanan, homogeneous. Fourth example is, tanan, this meal. And this is classified as heterogeneous. Lastly, we got this 18 karat gold ring. Is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? A, just like the brass, it is homogeneous. Pag nakarinig kayo ng term na karat, Ibig sabihin, nagbibigay ito ng idea kung gaano ka-pure yung gold. Kasi, commonly, ang gold ay naluan ng ibang metals para mas madali itong mamold. For this case, para maging ring. Ang pinakamataas na karat ay 24 carats. So, ibig sabihin, if you have a ring, a gold ring, which is 24 carats, it is pure, considered as pure gold. But technically, a 24 karat gold is composed of 99.99 .99 gold. So meron pa rin 0 0.01 na ibang components. But most of the references consider 24 karat as a pure substance already. Kaya naman, kapag lower than 24 Karat, it means that it is a mixture and commonly it is a homogeneous mixture.
And these are the key concepts that we need to remember in this lesson. First one, mixtures can be formed by mixing only elements, only compounds, or both elements and compounds. Only elements, ano ibig sabihin nito? Let's say, for example, we got oxygen, hydrogen, and nitrogen in one container. So they are physically mixed in that container. Dahil composed na ito ng two or more substances, therefore, it can already be considered as a mixture. Only compounds, let's say, for example, sodium chloride or salt, and then sucrose, which is sugar. So when I mix them together, it can already be considered as a mixture. Then both elements and compounds, kapag pinaghalo-halo na ito, physically. Next concept, the properties of a mixture are similar to its component substances. Para maunawaan natin yung concept na to or yung idea na to, gamitin natin yung halo-halo as our example. Pag ito ay na-mix na at kinain mo to, let's say for example, yung sagi. So alam mo na saging pa rin yun. Yung sago, alam mo na sago pa rin yun. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, ang properties ng mixture na yon ay kapareho pa rin ng individual components na meron doon. Dahil nga, they are physically combined together, kaya walang chemical reaction na nangyari. So, as is pa rin yung mga properties ng bawat component. Tatandaan, properties of a mixture are similar to its component substances. Lastly, solutions and suspensions are examples of different types of mixtures. And that's it! We are done! If you find this teach vlog helpful, huwag kakalimutan na i-like, i-share sa mga classmates ninyo at mga batchmate ninyo, at huwag nyo na rin kalimutang mag-subscribe para naman lagi kayong updated sa mga new lessons natin. I hope that you learn something today. I hope that you learn something today. See you again in my next Teach Blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>